Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL query in which we are going to pass dynamically the values in an in clause in the where filter criteria that we mentioned in the select query. So let's see how this can be done. So we are going to take the example of the AdventureWorks LT 2019 database table product. So if you go to this table, it has a column called color and we want to filter, let's say we want to filter on the color. So just executing this query you will see that this it has all the details of different products and it has a column color which filters them based on the color of the product so let's say we have a requirement wherein we want to filter it dynamically on different values each time we want to execute this query so maybe once we want to filter it on red and blue the next time we want to filter it on red blue and black and so on so let's see how this can be done so one of the approaches for this would be to maybe create a temporary table if you or if you already have a table in which you can put this criteria and select this values from that table every time but if you don't want to do that then we can use the approach that we are going to see now okay so for that approach what we need to do is let's go to the master database declare a variable so let's say declare add where and where can let's say 250 and pass on your values to this variable so let's say the values that we want for this time uh, are red yellow gray okay so we're just passing this whole string uh, to this variable that we have declared and the next step would be to use the split string function so this is the function that we're going to use. The way the split string function works is that it will see or it will look for a delimiter in your string. In our case, we are going to define the delimiter as comma and then it is going to split that string at that point of the delimiter and convert that splitted text into a separate row. So we'll see how it actually works by writing this. The output that it gives is a table valued function because it is in effect converting all these row records into separate column records. So let's write that query and see how it works. So we write a select and then because the output is a table valued function, we have to define value like this table value from and then we apply our function. So it is suggesting the function below and then it shows you what arguments can be passed so the first argument is obviously the string that you want to work with so in our case that string is defined in this variable and then you have to define the delimiter at which you want to split the string so in our case the delimiter is going to be the comma so that is what we are going to define okay so this is our simple statement let's execute this all together and see what would be the output okay okay so if we execute like this we would be able to see that these are the values now what else we observe here is that there has been a space that has taken so let's take out that space right now otherwise we would get incorrect matches okay so now let's run this again okay so now we have the correct values as red yellow and gray and we can keep on changing this value if i want to add another value let's say now i want to filter on four different colors then it would give me all those values okay so it's as easy as that now the next step would be to apply this uh, function in the select query which is selecting some data from a table so now what we're going to do is we are going to use our adventure Wars database and select from the sales lt dot product table where color in and then we are going to put this as a sub query over here 
close the subquery. Okay, and since this table is in Adventure Worlds database, I'm going to select it over here. Uh, I can also select it using a statement called go to that database. Okay, so now let's we select this one and now let's try to execute this. So if I try to execute this, I am getting an error invalid object name string underscore spec. Many of you would be able to execute it in your databases without any error. So let's see why we're getting this error. So the cause of this error is something called the database compatibility. So it might be that your database has been created on an earlier version of SQL Server where this function was not applicable. So that this server, this function became available only in SQL Server 2016. So your database should be compatible at least with that level to be able to use this function. So to check the compatibility of the database, what you need to do is simply write a query, select compatibility underscore level from sys.databases, okay, where name equal to and your database name. So in our case, it is adventureworks ld2019. Okay. So, sys databases is the system table that has all the information for all these different databases. So, if we execute just this part of the query, let's see what is the output. So, the output is 110. So, 110, if you go to the Microsoft documentation, you will see that 110 is well below the level of SQL Server 2016. So, the version is well below that level. So, we need to at least bring it to the level of 2016 to make it work with this function that we want to use. So, to change the compatibility level of any database we have to uh, use the alter statement alter database okay and then you have to give the database name again lt 2019 and set compatibility level equal to so just reference the Microsoft documentation, you will see that the compatibility level to be defined for SQL Server 2016 is 130. So that is what we are defining over here. Okay, let's see if the statement works for us. Okay, so it completed. Um, hopefully now we should be able to execute the queries that we have formed using the string uh, split function and we should not be getting the error that we were just getting. So let's go back to our query over here and now let's select and execute. Okay, so it did execute and we have got the output. We have got the output based on the filter criteria that we define in the in clause in the where clause. So red, yellow, gray and black. If you take a look over here, all the products are of either of these colors. Now, as we mentioned that we can Keep on changing this, okay? So if you want to take out black, if you want to just filter on, let's say, um, red and yellow in this case, then and execute this, okay? So just to compare, we had got 164 rows uh, with the filter of the four colors. Now we have a filter only on two colors. Let's see how many rows we get. So we get only 74 rows. So it works dynamically. So the, this is what, this is a function that you can use to convert it dynamically. As I mentioned earlier, another approach could be, still if you want to use this function, you could put all these output, which we got through this query in a temporary table and then use the table, make a join with the table and then uh, use it to filter your records or you can have a separate table in your database if that is possible for you having your filter criteria and then you can use that table that might improve your performance of the query as well. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll be posting many more videos soon. Goodbye.